island called Sri Lanka, eulogized as the pearl of the Indian Ocean, is replete with natural beauty and a strong spiritual, cultural, economic and social environment. All ethnic groups lead a simple life there in peace and harmony. There was an ethnic unrest that emerged as a result of social, economic and political tendencies developed within a few years following independence from foreign occupation. This uneasiness culminated as an ethnic unrest in 1983 and the civil strife that grew into a war situation caused extensive damage to life and property. The civil strife ended in 2009 providing the long-awaited opportunity for all parties concerned to fulfill the burning needs of eradicating the causative factors of such unrest, establishing long-lasting peace and reconciliation. In the environment of post-war reconstruction, we pay attention to two dedicated organizations involved in taking incessant efforts. This effort commenced in September 2011 with the communities in Trincomalee, Batiklo and Padavia areas where all religious and ethnic groups live together in different compositions. They receive the guidance of Buddhist, Hindu, Islam and Catholic leaders. Sarvode Shramadana movement, dedicated for peace and development, was inaugurated in the year 1958. This was following a Shramadana camp in Kanathulua village in Kurunagala, conducted by Dr. A.T. Ari Ratna, the founder of Sarvode, who was then a teacher at Nalanda College, Colombo. Since the 1970s, Sarvode works for a country harboring peace and coexistence that safeguards human dignity and rights of all ethnic groups. Sarvodaya Shanti Sena was established in 1978. The Shanti Sena movement took lead to bring relief to countrymen victimized by various unfortunate incidents. The Sarvodaya Peace Brigade establishes its structure as Shanti Sena through the power and active participation of youth. Shanti Sena has always been at the helm of activities such as massive peace walks, peace meditations, peace dialogues and peace camps. Sarvodaya Shanti Sena functions for the last three decades as an independent unit within Sarvodaya to contribute for achieving primary objectives of Sarvodaya. Therein, Shanti Sena was tasked to create a setting to promote Sri Lankan community to maintain unity within diversity. Our youth are the dynamic force that we rely on to fulfill this task. We train these youth to give leadership to peace building through mutual understanding. Following training, the youth groups went back into the community and developed the environment required for national reconciliation. We saw the prevalence of division as ethnic or religious groups instead of unity. Our efforts were focused on enhancing unity among divided groups. We paid attention to develop mutual trust, since trust is the approach for coexistence. Therefore, our initial task was to establish trust among religious and ethnic groups scattered throughout the country. This dialogue to build trust was commenced involving villages, schools and universities. The dialogue also proceeded with the participation of religious leaders and civil activists. In this effort, attention was paid to practical approaches instead of resorting to theoretical bases alone and opportunities were developed to make the approach a success. 
for people to change their attitudes, misconceptions and opinions. Interaction among different groups was seen as essential. The interaction was promoted through discussions, seminars, dialogues and conferences. These enable the individuals and groups to relieve themselves of distrust and as often as possible, environment was prepared which provided space for interaction. As a result, we have managed to build trust among different religious groups and ethnic groups. After 26 years of war, Sri Lanka is recovering from a uh, terrible devastation. Now, we as a people's movement which is trying to build uh, lasting peace in Sri Lanka and also working on reconciliation, always believe that our spiritual and religious traditions can contribute very significantly towards achieving lasting peace and also addressing the trauma of war and really bringing communities together. So with that objective we have tried to uh, mobilize the religious leaders belonging to Buddhist, Christian, Islamic and Hindu traditions and also giving them the knowledge and skills through a very comprehensive uh, training and uh, capacity building program in order for them to be able to look at their own religious traditions, religious tree, uh, teachings to uh, contribute towards post-war reconciliation and at the same time, secondly, very importantly, how they could interact with each other and work collectively to towards healing their own communities, building sustainable peace and working towards reconciliation at a national level. The Karuna Centre for Peace Building, located in Amherst, Massachusetts, one of the aforesaid institutions was inaugurated in 1994 as a non-profit organization by Dr. Paula Green. Its current executive director is Mrs. Olivia Stokes. This organization operates in 26 countries at present with the objective of promoting cultures of peace through the transformation of violent conflict. Since 1994, this organization has conducted educational programs to develop awareness and skills for conflict resolution among civil activists. This organization has collaborated with Sarvodaya in the areas of North and East. So Karuna Center for Peace Building is a small nonprofit in the U.S. And we work with local partners in parts of the world where there's been violent conflict doing reconciliation work. We worked in Sri Lanka between 2003 and 2005 during the ceasefire. And we were very interested in coming back at the end of the war to work here again. And very, very pleased to work with Sarvodaya on this project with, on interfaith peace building. And it seemed that after the war, to work with the four different religious groups was perhaps the most effective and strategic way to help bring people together, especially in the East, where all com four communities have lived together for so, so long. But after the war, naturally trust had broken down and relationships were strained. The Sarvodaya Shanti Sena movement, with over three decades of experience, launched a special program to build peace in the areas of Batiklo, Trincomalee and Padavia with the assistance of USAID and the Karuna Center for Peace Building. The goals of this program embodied the theme of social development and strengthening through inter-religious cooperation. When enhancing inter-religious cooperation and coexistence, the role of religious leaders of different religions is immense, especially if the religious leaders who remain closer to the communities can work hand in hand for common well-being. They can deliver a strong message to their followers and leaders of other religious entities. The process began with raising their awareness about the approach 
through a series of two to three day workshops. For these, each group was taken separately and workshops were held at the Development Education Centre in Trincomalee. What did the religious leaders achieve by participating in these educational sessions? Programs considered themes of philosophy and identity of each religion, conflict resolution, community work and community empowerment. They gained new knowledge by blending their own experiences with inputs on newer approaches from foreign as well as local resource persons. During these workshops, they experienced how they should honour the opinions of others without paving way for conflicts. It was obvious that they strengthened bonds among themselves, leaving aside parochial ideas. Sapianik saha punu karve kheriyat mama itamat baagya kord salakano ame agi mekan aikya tik vedakaran le labi magane. Loku santosya kwa game loku abiyoga kheriyat dhanuna me noik petiwaling ina saha noik agam waling pemne na me agi mekan aikya tik vedakaradi. Muli kaw ma apita ita asiru tatya kete munde na sidu na mukda api api eddi regena apu mati mata antar. अपने आधास एक तालिए के गिनी में टे या वेसा दरी में टे सिद्धू बिन मनीषा नमूत सातों टे कारणे नाम अपने पुण्य या नात्रा तुलदी एक ही ने क्या गैने अन्यों ने आवृत्ति लबी मत सामग्रम अपने परमार्थ सियालंगे में ए परमार्थ पीलीबंद आवृत्ति लबी मत एक्कम ऐ आए के उन्नतो वैद्युना ऐ आए के व्यूर्त बाव वैद्युना अनित्य आटे सावन दिन अनित्य आटे गारुकरण ये वक्त के मूली का मूल दर मोल आटे नातुवेमिंग सह इधर ये टे में गमन या युतुए के न तैना टे गेन न अपने में पुहनु बी मोल दी हक्या वाला बुना दिस रिलिजियस लीडर्स ऑर्गेनाइज नॉट ओनली इंटर रिलिजियस religious places, holding sports tournaments, arts and cultural activities, commemoration of days specific to religions, and establishing youth peace committees. These efforts by all religious leaders and inter-religious youth leadership to pass a message to society are highly praised by the general public. If religious leaders endeavor to raise economic conditions of their communities, or raise language or vocational capacities which are current necessities. The same is a blessing for the community. It is a support for raising living standards. To achieve the objectives of this program, various projects are implemented in these districts. Next, we developed skills required by religious leaders to achieve the objectives. Therein, we saw the need for competency in languages in order to promote peace because language is the key to understand the others. To begin with, they took steps to teach Tamil language to Sinhalese children and Sinhalese language to Tamil children. This approach raised the language competency in children. The result was that we created an environment to enhance the mutual understanding among children. We also started vocational training to ensure development of competencies in youth. 
This was not limited to a mere training where the individuals developed skills in a particular trade. Sinhalese, Tamil and Muslim youth learned and interacted under one roof. This approach enabled developing not only vocational skills in them as expected but also more importantly about human interaction essential to share and live together. Some generate incomes directly. Some generate incomes together with vocational competency. Language and computer classes contribute to build a peace bridge and facilitate entrance to the future world. All these contribute to strengthen links with religious leaders and the आउरुद्ध तीह का युद्ध एम पास से मिनिस्वतर सहायोगे सहा संबंधता आवे एंग गुड़ने की में आगमिक नाय किंग तमतमंगे प्रदेश वाले सिटी ने विविध आगम वाले विविध जातिंग वाले टायत जाना खंडा एम एकटे एकराशी करमीन और उन अतर अलु संबंधता विश्वास एंग गुड़ने का नुस्सा हकला ये बार सार्थक होना के लापटे ह हैटा आटा कटा आसन प्रमाण या आगमिक किनारे की आगमिक किनारे की निशिंक क्रियात्मक कला ये क्रियात्मक कला बैठस्टरहान वालिंग प्रतिलाभ लाभागत प्रमाण या तुंधास कटा अधिकाय ये अतर आगमिक किनारे की इन्नुआ राज्य निर्दार इन्नुआ तारनो कंडे मिन्नुआ सह विविध आवश्यकतावयन सहित पुत्कलिंग was the visits organized to observe other similar projects and exchange experiences. Our group of religious leaders had the opportunity to witness how an inter-religious program in Gaul is functioning and to learn from challenges and successes. For three days, they visited various religious places and developed an understanding. They developed links with religious leaders in the South. Religious leaders from the south had an opportunity to visit the eastern province and gain first-hand experience on how community development work focused on coexistence.
Under this program, several publications about its philosophy and action were produced to be disseminated among people. The core group of 80 religious leaders who implemented the inter-religious activities for over one year eventually shared their experiences at a national conference in Colombo. Over 700 religious leaders from all parts of the country participated in this event in which they presented a formal declaration. Justification of its impact. Some of the participants voiced their views unreservedly and without hesitation. Muslim Pandliya Tin Tagan. E Okotama appear single demola Muslim Tuna Mekauna Sarwag Mikanda Angola Agum Kangi Api stage at the Ek Piat Makal Apid Islam Dila may tin the Gan Kelatura Minisutulati and Akal Pivenasuna. The Vela Tiptam Aram Bik in the Buddha Unmaye in the Vela Tiptatinudia Sale Vadigal in the Lavuk Nanma Vayakum in the Uru Early Angulam in the day. Nangal pala bela titanggal ini sejauh berarti pun ram beli arti kalbi, pun ram titanggal ini nangal nangal itu berarti, inda seru mada bumar rudiye sejauh titat ini mula maga makkalai hundred nanti, makkalai aniye berita amal, illa makkalum hundred nainde inda sejauh titat ini sejauh hundred nanti. Seru deh nuri ya, titat ini kuri pah moli bahu pilih kalan tu kunde, pali ni mana berkhalai yum hundra hari nanti kalbi cut titat dana de, ina tu pudih orang tu mau makan nanti. Mubi na makal, mubi na mana orang kalau ini beriti katpi tadi, abang orang kalau tanggal itu kulle, uru semua mana orang wal bay, uru purin dunor bay, uru an bay parimari kondo dengan bade, mihom sendosha mana, par parik ke mihom sendosha dengan kulle katci ahan bade, adai polu madat tali bay entar wahai gil, ye ni am madat golodan, madat tali bay golodan, ani oni am wahai nal palak muri bade, abang orang kalau tu kalas arah tadi, palak kawal kengal bade, enang kalau ini minat arah tu golodan muri bade. I'm really happy to say that there is religious all getting together is a very useful thing for the, for the country. It is the time for the, it is needed for this time. Now, because, now, through this experience, we have learned to understand each other and accept each other. And also through us, all the people also uh, learning to accept each other. And we are now very friendly with each other. It is the beginning of the dawn of peace. This is my faith and I really believe through these religions coming together we will really build up, build up a very good, peaceful and joyful, happy nation and our country. This particular program we tried out uh, in implementing in three districts, uh, three Sarvode districts. Uh, Batiklo, Trincomalee and Padavia and we have received uh, significant uh, assistance from Karuna Center which brought in uh, previous knowledge on how to mobilize religious leaders and also the, the financial resources provided by the USAID uh, is uh, very uh, significant uh, in achieving our objectives and I wish to thank both organizations for helping us in this endeavor.